Welcome back to another episode of The Deep End. And ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while. I was at a wedding and stuff and things, but we are back here. And I just wanted to really quickly show you the sea temple. Oh my goodness. While I was gone, I wanted to come back because, as you guys know, one of my projects that I was going to work on, but then I think Log.Zip took it over, was going to be the sea temple. And I just wanted to see where it's at. And it is literally like torn to shreds now like i could probably clear this all if i wanted to in like maybe a couple hours and it would just be a big massive like empty space <laughs> and then we could do the thing so i don't know if i'm gonna do that i might use that as one of my off-camera missions at some point just because i want to clear this to get a guardian farm whether log is doing it or not but then i considered i need to start working on the nether hub again and that's something that we're gonna I think prioritize over this, but I just wanted to let you know that this is going to be not that hard to, uh, to clear out. But yeah, the nether hub is ugly. It hasn't been updated in a long time. I've taken a break from it and now I am back. Uh, I had like a week off, like the one I uploaded on Saturday was pre-recorded. So I've had like a week break from the server altogether and I'm back, man. I, I don't, I can't say I was burned out. Cause like I really did. And I, I've always enjoyed the server, but I was burned out on the nether now i'm ready to do it again but okay i have a lot of stuff i need to go over it's been a long time this server updates very very quickly and the first the first thing i have my wand on me and stacy and i were in a call and we were like what is impaling good for because we were very frustrated that it would take with a sharpness five sword three hits to kill a trident drown like okay for example i think the ones that do not hold the trident take two I'm not sure. Let me test it real quick. I, I, I think the trident ones are stronger. If this guy dies in three, though. Okay, they're all, they all take three. So, if I use three hits and kill him, that's a sharpness five sword. And I guess we never put two and two together. Why is the trident even made? Why does it not do much damage on, like, land stuff? It's meant to be the water weapon. Derp. Like, that went right over my head. So, let's find a drowned real quick. I actually want to see with my maxed out wand. I don't have mending on it yet. We're going to talk a lot about mending today. I have loyalty three, impaling five, channeling, and I'm breaking three. This should, if this takes three hits to kill a drowned two, I'm going to be disappointed. Because I can't, other than the sea temple, see why impaling would be useful in this game. Because most mobs that are underwater are passive. So, let's see. That's one hit. Oh my gosh, it's the same! It literally doesn't do any... Okay, I thought that was gonna, like, do more damage, and I was ready to prove a point. But really... It's the same three hits. Huh. So yeah, I guess I'm back to page one. I don't really know what the trident drown... Well, I, I guess I'll try it on an actual trident. Like, one that has a trident. We'll use a trident to kill a trident. I'm saying trident way too much! Hey, at least you could do this, though. Like, let's see if I can hit him. Oh, what a shot! Did you see that? That was lit. Okay, that was lit. You got, you can't lie. That was lit. Let me try again. Oh, again! I have the perfect angle of height on this guy. Not that time, but I hit him twice, man. Oh, he's got a Nautilus. This isn't an actual, like, useless kill. Thank you. I like to say I'm pretty good at arcing it, you know, give me that Nautilus shell. I just wanted to go over one of the comments that I read on the last episode and I'm such an idiot and I didn't get this reference, but this is a club penguin igloo right here and Scott is going for like a club penguin themed island, I think? Maybe not the whole island, but this, like if you played club penguin back in the day, is supposed to replicate like those ones, those houses that was just filled with disco floors. I'll put it on the screen. And then this is like the speakers, you know, that they, you know, we'd always have in our igloos and the jukeboxes and uh, I have some extra fun. What? Why would I free club snacks? Oh, wait, you can eat dried kelp. Kelp, I'm not, we're going to talk about kelp actually. I have that in my inventory, but I'm not like, I keep learning new things about it. I think that was the food we ate when we first started the series. But I want to just quickly say, my favorite igloo is the one with all the TVs. So, hey, Scott, 
You gotta, gotta get that one done, you know? <laughs> Alright, so before we get to the Trident Drowned, which I honestly think is gonna be the same, like, thing in terms of our experiment, uh, I have three extra Tridents. Um, now I got these not while grinding Tridents, it wasn't to get Tridents, it was while I was grinding the coal, and one of them has zero durability, so I'm gonna go ahead, combine the 18 durability with the zero, and it should give me a little more, 48! Like, that's how much zero gives you. We're gonna combine those two, now we have two to gift out, and if I remember correctly on my stream, plenty of you, I think the majority of you, wanted me to gift one to Lauren. Uh, but I, I was just closer to Tiff, and it was running low on time. My dad had gotten here for the dinner, so... Oh, wow. She's actually changed her house up a bit. Whoa! Hello! Hello! Okay, oh my! I don't think we've gotten a map update for Lauren's Island yet, so... She's like mid-smelting glass. So I'll have to do that. I have been keeping... Well, actually, I have to thank Delfron, and I think Captain Sparkles has been updating his own island, and Zine, uh, and we'll talk about the Zine situation, that's for sure. I have to thank all of them for keeping the map updated while I've been gone. Wow, beautiful house. Uh, I'm gonna leave a chest right here, at the very top, with, uh, oh, next to her llama. Actually, I'm gonna leave it inside her llama. Uh, can you do that? Yeah, put a chest on her llama, and then... She won't find it. I'm just gonna hide it in there. It'll be like a little sweet surprise. I mean, you guys can comment it, of course, but it's in there. And now I hope she, like, doesn't mind that there's a chest on her llama now, because I don't think that's removable, but I think that she would have done that eventually anyways, because it, it's better. To the zine situation. Uh, ever since I have started updating the map and doing map things, I have been, uh... I'm so sorry, Zine. Special delivery for the aquarium. I have been ignoring Zine. Not purposefully. Uh, it just kind of happened. And what I mean by that is I've not been putting his name on the map. I don't know if this was supposed to be a prank, but he's given me a delivery for the aquarium. And I don't know if those two things are related. But I just wanted to apologize to Zine. The reason was it was close to spawn and it didn't really have anything on the map to showcase that someone lived there. So it's nothing personal, bro. But yeah, he totally delivered me a guardian for my aquarium. Uh, the only- <laughs> Merch.Zine. Go buy a shirt from Zine! Or whatever he sells, like skateboards, or I don't know what Zine's into. The only problem is we're gonna have to sleep. I'm the only one on the server because it's very low in health. I was on the server yesterday, and a skeleton managed to maneuver its way into the boat, and he hit it twice with a power bow. So I don't know how strong those things actually are, but I think one more damage and he'll die. So we gotta be very careful about getting him in here. If I go in the boat with him, I'm gonna try out a couple things. If I do this, does he hurt me? Oh, he does not. Well, I mean, how would he have gotten him here anyways, right? Okay. So we just want to make sure he does not take damage at all. I don't think as long as I'm in here, he will. Um, actually, this might be a good route to take since he's already in here. What, like something like, I hear something swimming. That must be like all the dolphins and turtles and stuff. Anyways, I create a little path. He's gonna come down here. Uh, it'll be water. Come down here and I'll boat him right in. Uh, I got a silk touch here. My inventory is once again doing that thing where it's full. I gotta remedy this, so... Burn, baby, burn! Oh, I already have a water bucket. Cool. So if we just put water here... I mean, that should be good, really. That'll break the fall. Any fall we have. So let's drive him. Please work. Please don't fail. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. He was taking some damage there, I saw. Why is this thing? Oh, I gotta like let go of this. Don't die, please don't die when you fall. You should fall right on the water. Oh, I'm scared. This is like the guardian we're talking about here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We do this. Yes, it should flow him this way. Away from the wall. Oh, he's out now. He's totally out of the boat, I think. Is he out? He's out! He's out of the boat! Yes, yes. 
Oh, he's in. He's in. He's in, Zane! I got him in! Successfully. Where did he just go? You all watched him with me go in. To this aquarium, and now I can't see him. Are you in here? Dude, oh, he's in here! Hey, buddy! Hey, merch.zine.me! You have a place down here. I'm hoping that a conduit doesn't like, because it's supposed to kill bad guys. So just, I guess, don't go close to the conduit? Where'd he go now? Dude, he maneuvers quickly. Where is he now? Oh, there he is. I think he'll stick to the bottom. Uh, but yeah, thank you for the present, Zine. It's much appreciated. And I guess now I could go over all the mending and the coal stuff. But before we do that, Shelby has a favor to ask. And so I'm going to play that clip now, and then we'll be back, and you'll kind of see where I'm going with the coal in that clip. Shelby! Oh, jeez. Crazy! Oh, my gosh. By the way, can I say something? Your island is so freaking beautiful. Oh, I my goodness. See it. Your eyes are covered. Oh, everyone. You're literally, like, the 10th person to make that joke. <laughs> I have to, like, take it off for every clip now to be formal. But, yeah, it looks good, Shelby. Thank you. you. Great job. Like, look at this. Ooh. Ferris wheel. Oh my gosh, there's more! Yeah, I'm, I'm expanding, working on some uh, aesthetics. Oh my. Shelby. This is my cherry tree. When, how come, I guess I've never done a vanilla series with you, so I didn't know that you were like, actually like a builder, like a good builder. <laughs> like you only I did modded. I copied Google images though. I have to give credit to the original builds that I copied. Yeah, but part Google. of building is taking all those cool things and putting them together and making it look nice together. So you did that. Right? Thank you. Have you checked out my drift shop yet? That's what I was just about to ask about. It looks <laughs> cool. There's nothing in it yet. I'm going to do Aww. a bunch of AFK fishing and, and I'm just going to put some various items you'd find at a thrift shop. Whoa, but it looks like you've updated it since I've last been here. I Sorry, I haven't been on the server in like a week because I went to a wedding and stuff. So I'm. Ooh. this is just all new to me. You got married again? I got, no, I, my cousin got <laughs> married. Not yet for me, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I came in when this was just like a, whoops. <laughs> I came in when- <laughs> It'll break, it'll break, it'll break. You're good, you're good. Three, two, one, there you go. Uh, I came in when it was just like a thing to come in. Oh my goodness, you have Yeah. You have so a the conduit? the gonna be down here. It's a conduit. Yeah, the conduit's right underneath us. This, so, oh my gosh. You come in through the water. Yes, yeah, so you can come in from underwater and then you can come in from above water. Oh, and... The shop's gonna be in the bottom. Dude, part. that's such a cool concept. I didn't even <laughs> think about this. And yeah, I see the conduit beneath. So you know... Oh, it's a full-powered conduit, too. So you know that's actually gonna help. It spreads, like, because there's a spawn one over there. So that just makes the whole ocean over here a lot more friendly to build in. So that Yeah, because I have one by my house over there, too. So they... Okay. Reach each other. Well, you wanted me here. Like, I'm not just here to, you know, <laughs> praise your stuff. <laughs> you actually needed me. <laughs> yeah. What do you need me for? Okay, so what I wanted you to come here for, I have a new project I'm working on, but it's going to take quite a bit of coral. Oh. Colored coral. So I need silk touch, and I know that you have a silk touch pick. Yes, I do. So what, you want to pay me to use it or something? or? Oh, What's... actually, I was just hoping I could borrow it. Oh, okay, like, hold on. Let's go to my island real quick. Let's check okay. out our options here. We'll go through the portal. By the way, um, the nether portal or the nether hub looks really ugly. It's just because I haven't <laughs> been able to grind on it in a long time, but I'm going to start filling this in with a bunch of blue concrete powder. Ooh. Oh, have you seen my updated house and everything? No. Oh, it's, I don't think so. yeah, look at this. It's my place, yo. What? It's my place. Cool. So Ooh, I got nice a lot fun. going on, and I Whoa. think I'm going to give you a little bit of a deal here. Cause I'm nice, okay. Call okay. me nice. Uh, You're I nice. have a, I have an actual like smith, or not a smith, a villager that will give you silk touch, and it's very cheap. So I think I'm just gonna give you a permanent silk touch book, and you can use it for whatever you want. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Cause I'm, I'm nice, right? You, you Call are me so nice. nice. <laughs> Even after I was so mean to you after we got divorced. Yeah. Well, no. It's We're, all in the past. Yeah. It's we we let bygones be bygones. We've mended it. Get it? <laughs> it's <laughs> available now at the garage sale. Twenty five diamonds. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we mended it together. Here you go for free. <gasps> by the way, Whoa! take a silk touch. 
I will repay you in some other way. I and uh, I just need to do this. Not in marriage. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, so you get it now. I use the trade smiths to make like coal trades, which gives me like the most emeralds that I've found because the paper takes way too long to regenerate. So I do that. I get three. I just have tons and tons of stacks of uh, coal. But usually I like to find ones with low trades. I usually... 23. I have ones for like 16 somewhere here. And yes... I've hid Mendy, and no, I'm not telling any of you where he is. No one will ever know where he is until there's competition on the server and someone gets another villager. There's the 16 one that's cheaper. Please regenerate. But yeah, I just do this over and over again. Ah, I hate when they don't regenerate because then you've got to, like, spend money. Like, I got to go get diamonds. Oh, been having to use my freaking diamonds, man. My precious diamonds. Regen. There you go. It's worth it, though. It's definitely worth it for this. He's got the cheapest trade that I've found. More diamonds to be spent. So we have 28, and actually, I think this is going to get us... Oh, no, you can't do the same trade twice. A lot of you are commenting that I might not be able to get mending forever, but yeah, you can. As long as you trade other trades, I believe they will always refresh. Oh, I have another 16 armor over here. Oh, I didn't know I had two now. Or, yes... Weapon smiths, I guess, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I need two. Is this going to get me two? 24? No. That should get me two. There we go. 30. And I'm going to use that to unlock my mending book for the magic wand. And then that will be combined with it as well. And I think the magic wand is going to become, like, one of my permanent weapons now that I've maxed it out to all the enchants that it can do. Um, so I, it's going to be on my hotbar all the time. I do like the... I want to use the trident. I feel like I haven't been using it a lot. But hey... Time to cut out and blur where I do this trade, because I ain't letting you guys know where he at. Welcome, everyone, to the secret mending cave. No one will ever find where this is, hopefully. This is where Mendy has been hidden from all. So I think if I do this trade, it will max it out, right? No, still, because I've been getting mendings upon mendings. I'm about to show you that. Whoa, what was that sound? But all right, let me exit. 17 levels. It's done! Beautiful! So now we have both the best tridents in the game. Now we just have to work on our, like, the rest of our armor, but that's for another time. Let's get to spawn and check out all that's new. I feel like I've been delaying this the whole episode. Wait, wait, wait! Before we go to spawn, I need to test something. A lot of you commented this. Now my elevator system is broken. Well, apparently you can make it all source blocks by planting kelp at the bottom. So, if I remove the magma block, and I, this is a big test I'm about to do, because if I remove this, it's going to break the rest of it. But, it's not like it really works anyways. I usually have to swim down it. So it's broken. And I'm going to plant kelp here now. And apparently, if you plant kelp all the way up, this is, this is, we're still in 113, so there's no way this would have been patched. And then I go down and break it. It creates it all into source blocks, I want to say. Uh, you guys better be right about this, because if I can fix my elevator doing this, that would be super dope. Um, but yeah, that's a good find. Let's see, though. I'm going to break it. I'm going to hope it does what it's supposed to do. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go down and... Broke. All right, so that should have made it all source blocks. And then if I do this, put this here... Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are the best. My elevator system is fixed. Thank you so much, guys. You have no idea. Oh, takes me down automatically now. Uh, I'm not sure why that top block was like prevent. Oh, look, the guardian's still in there. You can see him. Takes me all the way down. Beautiful. Why did that top block, like, push me up, though? Oh, no. It goes down. I don't know what happened the first time. Yes! Okay, we're gonna go check out spawn. I really haven't found another trident drowned yet. Uh, or any, for that matter, in the course of recording this episode. Or else I would have done my experiment. Even though we all know it's going to result in the same thing. Uh, but yeah, spawn has changed immensely. You'll first notice there's a bunch of buoys around. So I've never seen that. And we are about to go check out our garage sale for the first time ever. 
with mending stocked up. So as of now on the deep end server, mending is available in limited quantities. I have set the price at 25 diamonds per book. I don't know if that's too cheap. I had Stacy telling me that was too cheap. Um, but there are people on the server that have no luck finding diamonds. So here it is. Welcome to Grizz's Garage Shell. That's not centered, unfortunately. But hey, it's an even build. It's a huge mana ray, just like you guys saw the preview of in the last episode. Except Delphron actually took it upon himself to move all my stuff over, which... Thank you, man. You're a, you're a beauty, as I say. <laughs> beauty count number three or four. Uh, but no sales there, and i like to check the least likely chest. Yeah, no sales there. Hopefully we got some sales. Yeah! So we got one, two, three, four books gone. Uh, I keep... I, I'm trying my best to really refill. Like, I put another Frostwalker in because I just had it sitting around. And my Frostwalkers, as you know, as is my turtle helmet, they're good forever. Mending available 25 diamonds each. So I actually stocked these yesterday off camera. I'm wondering if anyone... Oh my gosh, we've already got a sale. Oh yeah, 41 diamonds made. So not too shabby, not too upset about that 8 diamond waste. Uh, well, not waste, but like I wasted 4 on the villager, the blacksmith. But yeah, here are all the mendings. There's one, two, there's a whole thing of 9 mendings available here at 25 diamonds a piece. So if anyone wants it... You can come get it. It's stocked up now. That's not the only thing that's new. We got a lot of new at spawn. So let's go over the map uh, the situation with Zine. I want to see because he told me he like edited his area to make it like look bright. Let's see. Okay, so the boating school's now here. Captain Sparkle's thing is updated for the most part. He actually has a new turtle thing here. So I got to... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! My pick, like, went right through the map! Oh, and there's something new. There's a lot new. Um, you guys might be a little upset at this. There's a little bit of a misunderstanding. Um, but it's all good now. Basically, the enchant tower, um, if I go ahead and do this... It's gone. <laughs> uh, it's completely been taken down. If I go up to the surface... da 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 da, -da. It ain't there anymore. Um, basically what happened was the Enchant Tower was there. I was going to hire Delphron to do the roof of it. And Stacy was like, okay. And then I had some stuff I went through. And I just kind of like agreed. Like without even thinking to uh, the stuff Delphron was proposing about the build. And he was like, I'll just redo it and make it Aqua themed. And then I, that happened. And Stacy wasn't a fan of that. And then, you know, we... We had to all talk about how we wanted to proceed here because it was just taken down basically pretty much without Stacy's permission and it was her build for the most part. But she's okay now and she's uh, she's fine with it being completely redone. Uh, but basically, yeah, that's the Enchant Tower story in a nutshell. It's going to be new. And then what else needs updating? So we need to put zines... Wait... Oh, those are the buoys. Yeah, 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 the buoys that go around. If I break this, is that also going to update to show buoys? I don't know where they all are at. Yeah, maybe these are too far away. Anything over here? There's a new shop. There's new shop, uh, We have uh, the Grow Your Own Tree or Logs Logs is coming soon. I don't think there's been any updates on that, but he told me he wants to make it like the bottom half spherical as well. So it'll be like a full sphere. Then we've got this one, which is Delphron's Ocean Builds. Drop in your request. You'll be contacted soon. Oh, great. Okay. Great, great, great. I'm I'm cool with that. Um, I'll be I'll be using that one. Then we have a new sea pickle shop that Stacy's not finished yet. And then over here is the shop that was over there before, but now it's been completely moved over. And this is H's enchantment shop, the one I'm rivaling. Rivalry time. Just want to see if there's anything new going on here. Anything at all? Saw some like, yeah, what's this? Oh, okay. Whoa. All right. Anything stocked up? Doesn't look like it. Um, I've heard that there is a zombie spawner beneath the enchantment shop. So H, you've got a pretty good opportunity there. I'm pretty sure it's like literally right beneath it. To make it so that your enchantment shop is also to get levels, which also has to do with enchanting. Uh, he's got a lot of boats here now. I'm going to steal one. Go update this map and check out Sparkles Island. He's been doing a lot over here. And he's my neighbor, so I just want to see what's going on. I don't think I've seen his island in a bit. And 
The reason we're going here is because I need to do my mini prank on him, and I have my mini prank in mind. Yes, I do. It won't be any harm like the last one, although that was really funny, and I'm glad. I'm, I thank you guys for the support. I, I didn't get much hate on it. But here, let's update this. There we go. All updated. But yeah, he's got like a turtle pen. One of them's grown. And if I go take my frost walkers off and go in here, bam, like you see, it does that. Uh, wait, basically, he has a fear with frost walker, right? That's gonna ruin his elevators. It does not ruin his elevators. Um, so if you wanna, if I'm not watching his next stream, go ahead and let him know. But I'm gonna go prove it to you. And I, I put like a little message here. <laughs> yeah, let me walk all over it. Oh, his doesn't even allow you to walk on it. Okay. But yeah. Let's do this prank. Okay, so what I'm going to do off camera other than the nether hub work is move these chests so that people can access... What the? How is this a thing? Oh, no, I just broke it. Okay, well, there's only two now. You can't have one without it there. I think that might be coral then, because you can't break... Hold on, slick touch. What? It looks nice. What is that? Is that a dead coral fan? Why am I not able to get it to retrieve it? Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and use our name tags for this mini prank here. Hold on. Let me clear my inventory. Stock my diamonds. Let's see how many blocks I just got. Four more. So we're up to seven. We spend a lot, but we make a lot. You know, there's a balance. There is a balance there. If I take two name tags and name one of them, I think it's dinner bone. His horse should flip upside down, and then I'm going to leave him the extra one in a chest so that he can rename it back to even just the normal ugly, like if he wants to. He knows about the uh, the error that, w that occurred. By the way, we can get rid of this turtle shell because it's too expensive to repair now. Goodbye, little turtle shell. I got my mending one now, so don't worry. Um, yeah, he, he knows about the situation. He's cool with it. Hopefully this still works in 1.13. I'm not sure. I'm really, I, I actually don't know if they fixed it or not, but if I do, wait, how do I, hey, gorgeous, isn't he just gorgeous, and then in the chest right here, um, your horse could use some uh, upsizing, I guess, so there's your name tag, upsizing, upside down, rotating, whatever the word is, that's funny, <laughs> that's my mini prank. It's supposed to be mini. My goodness, where's the trident drowned? I've been playing and playing, and usually when I play, I see them. Oh, hey, Stace. What up, what up, what up? Oh, no, no, no! It doesn't work, by the way. Still three hits. Whoops, didn't see your dog before I threw it. It is, for sure. <laughs> oh, yes, I hear one. From where? Got him. It's a baby. It's a little baby trident. So the consensus is you want to do this with the trident, but you want to get the last hit with the looting. Okay, so I just figured out it's three hits, so I'm going to try looting this because obviously it's a trident guy. But yeah, experiment complete. Ah, no trident. I don't think I've ever gotten one off a baby one. Oh, here it is. This is Zine's Turtle Oasis. It's so cute! He did such a good job on this. So it's just like a bunch of turtles just living here. And I think on that happy note, we will end it there. Thank you guys all for watching this episode of The Deep End. SMP, if you did enjoy, remember to leave a rating. I'll see you guys all again next time. Goodbye.